Why am I so nervous? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and you're probably very confused by the title of this video and if you're new to my channel this is probably a really bad video to start off with my channel so I'm going to be linking my lookbook playlist down below just in case so you can kind of see other things so maybe like go click one of those videos instead of this one. So if you have been a subscriber of mine for a while, hi, hello, thank you for sticking around um, but it'll be a little bit more easier, a little bit more easier, it'll be a little bit easier for you to follow along as to what I'm are trying to explain. I don't really know where to start but pretty much I've been having a really hard time posting content on this channel and creating content in general this summer. Last month I only uploaded like two videos and then there's two full weeks that I didn't upload back to back and it's not that I'm not motivated or I don't want to film anything or I'm lazy. It's like I filmed two separate videos for those weeks and I absolutely hated them. Like I could not even look at them. I couldn't sleep just thinking about how bad the videos were and then I wasn't going to have a video uploaded and like I want to create the best videos for you guys. I I'm a really big perfectionist when it comes to my videos and my art and things that I create. I know it probably doesn't come across that way when you watch my videos if you compare it to other creators that have like really intense quality and like videography and all that. Like I don't have like a professional videographer following me around filming all my things and like an editing team and I'm still kind of like trying to figure it out. I still use like a Canon 6CD because it works and I don't want to just upgrade to a better camera if the one that I have works. Do you know what I mean? And even like editing softwares, like I've been trying to figure out how to use like Premiere Pro. So with the things that I have available to me, I think I'm creating some really nice content in my opinion and I'm pretty happy with it. But I am a very big perfectionist. So when I do have a video that I think is not up to like my standard, I guess, or like I'm not really happy with it, like I get very, very like emotionally like upset and it really does affect my sleep and I just, I, I don't know, I really does, I start to stutter. And I've been a perfectionist when it comes to art my entire life. I definitely grew up like an artist in the sense that I was not very good at numbers or English or any of those sort of things. I was very like art focused like my entire life. That's what I grew up with. But I never had this amount of like stress on myself to make it look good as I have like this summer like it's been really really intense like even going out to shoot something like I would be like having a really hard time breathing while I'm getting ready just so that I can go out and shoot something which doesn't really make any sense because it's I'm creating something that I like you know and I was trying to pinpoint exactly what it was that was causing me like so much stress when it comes to creating content and I was actually cleaning up my computer and I was looking at old footage and photos from like last year like the spring and the fall going into like the winter and I was having so much fun creating content like I absolutely loved the content that I created during that time and that's the time when I was really like going right into the like mod 1960s style which I've always been really into like if I did like a whole like style evolution video, you guys will kind of see the 1960s influence like throughout my entire life that I didn't really realize it was there, but it was. But anyway, so I've been always been really drawn to like the 1950s, 1960s mod. I think with the Beatles, um, Hard Day's Night album, not Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band late 1960s going into like the 70s psychedelic style like that's not very much me definitely more into like the mod scene and like the 1950s fit and flare dresses which like you guys know I like love so with that style I had so much fun playing around with things and just kind of like doing different poses and angles just kind of like trying different things it was very experimental and I think I could have taken it further but I just didn't for some reason like I kind of like sidetracked a little bit and just went in a different direction which I'm not really sure exactly why I did that and then and this is where I like there was like a light bulb that went off in my head and in the spring I started to go more into like 1940s style because I just I love 1940s like movies and the style and like the feminine elegance of it I just absolutely love it and I was just really really into it and I wanted to emulate that and so that's kind of why I drifted from like the 1960s style to like the 1940s style and I've come to the realization that that style just does not suit me. It took me a little while to kind of figure this out. And I think the way that I look, my face shape, and everything about who I, what I look like does not fit the beauty standard of the 1940s, which is fine. This is, this is why nobody should ever follow any beauty standard of any decade. Think of like the 1920s with the really thin arched eyebrows. Like it takes a very special type of face to be able to pull that off. And that is why all those actresses of that time period have that distinct look, just because that 
was desired at that time period, but obviously not everybody that lived in the 1920s could pull off that look. The key is just finding something that suits your face, your body shape, your body size, whatever features you want to accentuate, like whatever it is that makes you confident is what's going to be the best for you. Because whenever you feel confident, you're going to look so much better because you're happier with, within yourself and people will kind of read into that. Definitely wear and do things that'll make you feel better. And for me personally, 1940s style, as much as I love to look at it, I just did not feel comfortable. Like I wanted it to fit so badly. Like I wanted it to look good on me and I just could not get it right. The hairstyle just does not look as good on me as I would like it to. Like I see photographs of other girls right now doing like vintage style and it just looks amazing on them but for me it just does not look right and even like my face shape i feel like having these little long kind of like bang pieces just frames my face a little bit better it makes it look a little bit more feminine versus like the 1940s hair that's more pulled back it just my face looks a little bit too structured and i really don't like the way that it makes my face look even when i was taking photos i was uncomfortable and i didn't know what poses to do because of the clothes i was just not 100 percent myself and i did not feel like myself and i think that's a really big problem and that is why i was having such a hard time creating content because I just really didn't know what to do. Whenever I'm in like a more 1960s style, which is very much me, I just have so much more fun and freedom and I feel so much more youthful and happy and the colors are just so vibrant and I just feel like 10 times better. My message that I'm trying to get across from that is to just not follow beauty standards. Like if I was to follow the beauty standards of today's time, I would be really upset because I'm literally a surfboard and I have no other curves anywhere else. I'm very small and I don't look like a Kardashian and I have really thin lips and I'm not going to inject them. So pretty much I'm just wearing things that I love and that make me happy. The key is just making yourself happy. I know this comes across as like really dumb and like, okay, whatever. So just like change your outfit, like cool. And there's bigger issues in the world. Like, and I, I know I get it. And I did kind of struggle with that when I was going to film this video and I was like pacing around my room being like is this going to be like really dumb like is people, are people going to be like what is the point of this video but I did want to be really open with you guys and be a little bit more transparent on why I haven't been uploading very often and that is about to change though. I'm really excited. I have so many ideas. Like I have a huge list of ideas of different videos that I'm going to be making. Not sure how many of them I'm going to be able to get done for this month, but September is going to be an amazing time for content. I'm so, so, so excited. I have some lookbooks planned and as well as a like outfits inspired by movies video, which I've been working on. Really excited about that. I love films, you guys know. So it's a really great way for me to kind of like bridge two loves together, fashion and films, as well as I want to do some more makeup tutorials. I know a lot of you guys are not huge fans, but since we are wearing the masks all the time when we go out having some really fun 1960s like eye looks I think would be really really fun I have a feeling a lot of you guys are gonna be really happy to have my 1960s style back I know I am I'm actually really really thrilled about it so I feel like it opens up a huge window of possibilities of things that I can do and just really get creative and yeah I also wanted to ask you guys in the comments below if you guys want to let me know of any video requests that you guys have maybe like a style evolution video that could be kind of cool I would love to do that and just kind of like take you through throughout some years and talk about my style. Um, that could be fun if you guys are interested. Um, I don't know, just any random suggestions. Well, that pretty much wraps up this video. Hopefully that made sense. I've been filming for like two hours now and I have a lot of footage to go through and my thoughts were all over the place. So hopefully I can string together something cohesive. I have really nothing else to add. Follow me on Instagram if you don't follow me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Uh, why am I like the most awkward person that exists? If you guys actually saw how awkward I am, it would be really concerning. Like the amount of deleted footage that you guys don't see of me being like, mm, like it's actually like concerning. Like me on YouTube talking to you guys right now, like, you know, semi awkward, like trying to like be presentable and then me in real life. <laughs> oh my God, I need help. Okay, bye.